Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on career opportunities in the electric vehicle industry. Do you know friends that since the General Motors introduced the first contemporary electric automobile in 1996, electric vehicles have come a long way. With the recent introduction of Tesla Model S, Nissan Leaf, Chevrolet Volt, electric car manufacturers have achieved a significant advances in terms of technology and market acceptance. Job roles such as R&D engineer, industrial manager, software engineer are in great demand today. Now before we move on and discuss our today's agenda, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So first, we are going to start with the history of electric vehicles. Moving ahead, we are going to discuss types of electric vehicles. Then we are going to learn about career opportunities in the electric vehicle. And at the end, we are going to conclude our session with the future of electric vehicles. So let's start with history of electric vehicle. Electric vehicles have been around in one form or another since the invention of the automobile. Many of the first automobiles were powered by a battery and not by a gasoline. Electric vehicles even outstole gasoline powered vehicles in the 20th century. However, with the improvements to gasoline engines and the availability of cheap fuel, electric vehicles fell out of favor. Throughout the 20th century, several models of electric vehicles were produced, but none became widely adopted by the consumers. The 1990s saw a renewed interest in the electric vehicles because of increasing concerns about the environment and higher fuel costs. The General Motors introduced the EV1 electric vehicle and began leasing the vehicles in 1996. That was a brief history about electric vehicles and why its need was started. Now let's discuss the types of electric vehicle. Electric vehicles are divided into four types based on the hybrids, plug-in, all electric or converted EV. If I talk about the hybrid electric vehicle, hybrid electric cars which are often known as hybrids are propelled by an internal combustion engine and an electric motor. There are different sorts of hybrid vehicles based on whether the engine or the motor is the predominant source of power. Some are propelled primarily by an internal combustion engine which is ICE engine with the assistance from an electric motor. Other are propelled by an electric motor with a gasoline engine serving as a backup. A battery and a generator power the electric motor. The generator charges the battery with the power from the internal combustion engine and the battery powers the electric motor. Having an electric motor in all circumstances allows for a considerably smaller gas engine which saves fuel and reduces exhaust emissions. These vehicles may also use regenerative braking which also uses the energy captured by the brakes to replenish the battery. This allows the vehicle to obtain higher gas mileage in the city and stop and go traffic. These are the most common types of electric vehicle in use today. Many automakers offer hybrid models including the Toyota Prius, Honda Civic Hybrid and Ford Escape Hybrid. The next if I want to talk about it's known as plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Plug-in hybrid like other hybrids include an electric motor and a gasoline engine. But they have a larger battery and may be charged for a secondary power source when at rest. Plug-in hybrids can travel between 10 and 40 miles on an electricity alone until the battery runs out and an internal combustion engine kicks into the power of the car. This type of electric vehicle is included in the Chevrolet Vault. The next one is all electric vehicles. All electric vehicles which are also known as battery electric vehicles are propelled solely by a battery and an electric motor with no gasoline engine at all. With their batteries run low, all electric vehicles must be recharged by plugging them into external source of electricity such as charging station. All electric vehicles also can travel roughly about 100 miles before needing to be recharged since their batteries are larger and than those in the conventional electric vehicles. They do not however have a gasoline engine to take over the battery when it runs low. Therefore, their overall mileage range is shorter than the other types of electric vehicle. The main advantage of all electric vehicle is that they use no gasoline and emit no exhaust emission. 
And finally, if I talk about the converted electric vehicles, there are some conventional gasoline powered automobiles with the internal combustion engines, which are being converted into the electric vehicles with the electric propulsion. Due to the scarcity of electric vehicle models in the market, conversion business frequently execute vehicle conversion for the customers who prefer a certain type of vehicle that is not available with an electric motor. Vehicle conversions are performed by businesses for specific sorts of vehicle that are required for business purposes such as light truck or passenger vehicles. I hope so. It's clear to you what are the types of electric vehicle. So I'll go one more time and it says the first one is hybrid electric vehicle. The next one is plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. Third one is all electric vehicles and the fourth is converted electric vehicles. Now let's move forward and discuss one of the most important topics that we are going to discuss today that is career opportunities in the electric vehicle industry. Workers in the electric vehicle business come from a variety of educational and job backgrounds, including scientists who do research in the electric drive technology, manufacturing workers who produce the vehicles and automotive maintenance technicians who also fix the vehicles. The majority of these jobs necessitate specific training or work experience in the electric car, manufacturing, maintenance, research and development and also design and development. So, if I talk about the first job opportunity you are gonna get in the research and development domain. This job description revolves around improving battery charging, recharging technology, fuel, all material sources. The electric vehicle industry requires a research and development team to recognize the latest technologies and concepts that are emerging globally. The research and development team conducts electric vehicle technology research and testing. Typically, chemists and material scientists test and analyze the battery life. If I talk about the material scientist or engineer, they also assist in the discovery of novel materials to replace the existing materials. Researchers conduct numerous studies to develop fast recharging technologies in order to make electric vehicles superior to the conventional vehicles. The research and development team contributes to the advancement of different aspects of battery charging, electric car materials and battery fuel utilization. People with a background in the chemical and material sciences can take the advantage of these job opportunities in the electric vehicle business. So basically in this research and development team you are gonna get the chemical engineers and the material engineers. Chemical engineers are well versed in the chemical qualities reaction compounds to utilize in battery charging and variety of other fuel and chemical substances. With this knowledge, they conduct several studies to find alternative eco-friendly chemical usage in the battery as a fuel. The chemist's major priority is to collaborate with other engineers on the batteries. Similarly, material engineers focus on the electric vehicle materials. They investigate on the various properties of materials and attempt to implement new material product using the existing ones. They strive to create strong materials that are yet lightweight and environmental friendly. Material scientists and engineers also cater their best to hold the best materials for the electric cars like seats, seat belts, upholstery and other components. If I discuss the major job responsibilities, the first one comes off the chemical engineers. They are mostly concerned with the batteries and also with the composition of battery fuels, their chemical interaction and the development of new eco-friendly batteries. The next one is electrical design engineers or electrical engineers. As the name implies, they work with the electrical components. They concentrate on the essential work of the electric circuits in automobiles that allows gas engines in charge and they also work on the HVAC systems such as lighting and digital displays. The next one is the material engineers. They basically investigate on the various properties of material and attempt to implement a new material product using the existing ones. I hope so it's clear to you what are the job responsibilities revolved around research and development domain. Now we will move to the next part that is manufacturing. The manufacturing team is responsible 
for machine design and production design. They put together labor and machinery tools. Machinist, industrial managers, machine tool operators and equipment assemblers are among the specialist workers needed in the EV manufacturing sectors. If I discuss the major job duties, the first one comes up the industrial managers. The industrial manager or engineers supervise the workers and ensure the activities run smoothly. Computer controllers are necessary for the manufacturing of electric vehicle materials. They make plastic and metal components as well as critical elements. The next one comes up the electrical and mechanical assemblers or engineers. They work together to put diverse electric vehicles in a single line production. They focus on enhancing programs and automated technologies to boost productivity and speed up the production process. While general assemblers work on the electric vehicle parts but they are not electrical or mechanical. The next career opportunity is in design and development domain. Everyone who contributes to the initial vehicle modeling phase to the final development process is included in the design and development sector. This industry typically employs engineers, software developers, industrial engineers, technicians and drafters. They find cost-effective and result-oriented solution to the automotive problems. The design and development team seeks to create automobiles that are accessible to all individuals from wealthy to middle class and to also low income households. Chemical, electrical, electronic, mechanical and industrial engineers and also software engineers can develop their career in this domain. And this career is in very high demand in today's scenario. Now let's discuss the major job responsibilities revolve around design and development. Basically, their work is in the link between scientific research and commercial applications. Many engineers specify requirements and then design, test and integrate components to produce designs for the new products. After a design phase, engineers are responsible for evaluating a design effectiveness, cost, reliability and safety. Engineers use computers extensively to produce and analyze designs and to simulate the test systems. Computers are also necessary to monitor the quality control process. Most engineers work in offices, laboratories or in industrial plants. Engineers are employed by the most companies that manufacture electric vehicles and their components. This is the most sought occupations in the automobile manufacturing industry today. Engineers work in teams with other engineers, scientists and industrial production managers to create new processes or devices for the manufacture of electric vehicles. Now if I discuss about chemical engineers, chemical engineers mostly focus on improving the design of the production sections of EV. They work with the batteries and are concerned with the composition of battery fuels, their chemical interaction and development of new eco-friendly batteries. Moving ahead, we have electrical engineers which create, develop, test and oversee the production of electrical components. They are in charge of creating the electrical circuitry that enables a gas engine to charge the battery and distribute the electricity from the battery to the electric motor. Electrical engineers may also work on heating and air conditioning systems as well. Next is the software developers who design and create the software. They apply the theories of computer science and mathematical analysis to create and evaluate software applications and systems that make computer run. Modern vehicles are extensively computer controlled and software developers create the software that control these vehicles. In addition, hybrid and electric vehicles use onboard computers to produce and distribute the proper amount of electricity to power the vehicle in the given conditions. I hope so, it's clear to you what are the major job responsibilities involved in design and development domain. Now we will discuss the future of electric vehicles. Despite the popular belief, the future electric vehicle in India is really very promising. The introduction of groundbreaking EV technologies in India and all around the world as well as willingness to share these technologies for the greater benefit has resulted in reduced manufacturing and driving cost. 
electric vehicles have shown to be not only a cleaner option to fossil fuel powered vehicles but also one of the most cost effective given the growing fuel prices this is a significant boost for the ev adoption in india electric cars are becoming more popular in india the ev industry is predicted to develop a compound annual growth rate of 94.4% between 2023 and 2030 according to the statistics i hope so you would have got an idea about the future of electric vehicles and why evs are so promising in today's scenario that was all for today's session i hope so you would have got an idea what are the major career opportunities in the electric vehicle industry